I'm eating a lychee to wake up. It was a tough night. There were many bugs. Tossing and turning, sweating. My wife was unable to sleep at all. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so I'm fairly sure that I wasn't able to sleep either. Looking forward to the day. We have entered the Isimangaliso Wetland Park and we are hopefully going to see some animals now. Absolutely spectacular, eh? Really quite difficult to know where to look at this stage. <laughs> this is a very good birding site, some 493 species according to the Roberts Bird app. Conveniently they have placed a number of bird hides around the reserve from which you might in silence observe the bird life. When you are birding, you need a good set of binoculars, a bird application or a bird book, and a lot of patience. You also either need to be alone or with companions who also enjoy bird watching. Because if you are trying to bird watch with somebody who doesn't like birds, they will probably kill you, I would say within 45 minutes of beginning your birding expedition. Ooh, what is that? There is a cysticola. Which one is it now? I think it's a cysticola. I don't know what it is. Here, yeah, a male leopard apparently came down to the bird hide before the concrete dried. Now, I don't know whether somebody is taking the mickey or if really a male leopard is walking around here with dried concrete on his front feet. Oh, and back feet. How oh, fresh? I don't think they're very fresh. I'd say sometime mm, five years ago. Very unlikely. This would be a real test for a good tracker though. To come along here and say, here is where you need to begin. Please find us this cat. We're in one of the most water-rich regions of the country now and I would imagine that there are endless areas of clean, clear, beautiful water in which these hippos could sit. But this pod has chosen to sit in the scum. They have created an area for themselves, no doubt filled with their own dung, and even in the immediate vicinity there are cool, clear patches of clean water and they are lying in the muck. Which I suppose is their prerogative. They're not doing a great deal. I am now filming two unidentified bees. Now, they are enormous bees. About, I'd say, an inch and a half long. Mm impossible to get on camera because they're flying all over the place but they're the most gorgeous golden honey color well they certainly flew across the screen oh, yeah, I had them I had them there they are got them It 
fell. <laughs> One of the things that has always fascinated me about the vervet monkey is that although they look quite delicate, they are climbing around in a tree that would lacerate the skin of a man. But on a monkey, it just doesn't. He's slightly confused about why we're here. He thinks he, he may have done something wrong, or he knows he's done something wrong. See the shot I just got you in a pink. Missing fur, eh? I think they always look like that, don't they? Up the I tree. know, I got it. Tracks of a male leopard. Would you not be so amazed? I would be so amazed. And because they look like male leopard tracks, I would have thought to myself, you know what? I think these are male leopard tracks. And that a leopard came walking along here during a time when the cement was wet. Of course, if you saw this only once, that would be a reasonable conclusion. Unfortunately, there seem to be, well, there are two scenarios. One is that we've been conned, and the other is that there is an enormous collection of leopards in this reserve, all of whom have got very cement-riddled feet. I think it's the former. I am attempting to film butterflies in the forest, but the camera is not very steady as there is no steady place to put it, and so I can't really breathe a great deal right now. Very twicky, so twicky. Very, very twicky. A little Varky. Don't run away, little Varky. Stay where you are. Da say. Yeah, mooi so. Mooi so. Baie lekker. Jy is a mooi fucking Vark. He looks lonely. He does look lonely. Oh, bye. Our camp, since we arrived here, has sounded as if rain is falling. And initially I thought this was possible because the cloudy sky uh, seemed to indicate that it was possible. But no, actually, in perfectly clear skies it still sounds like it's raining. So I thought it was leaves. Come over here. You'll see that it looks like some small blackish greenish type of leaves have fallen but on closer inspection you will note that they are slightly squidgy blackish leaves and my wife being a superb amateur naturalist identified the fact that they are not leaves but in fact the dumps of myriad caterpillars living in the tree above us went to searching for the criminals and here they are I'm and the farm, living 
next to the dustbin and I'm sure it is the brethren of this lot that are, not to put too fine a point on it, shitting all upon us on a constant basis. <laughs>